name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing my January book haul. okay with that considering it was my birthday month but I do have 14 books to show you guys today we're gonna to be starting with the comics and graphic novels I bought the first one I have is Fence Volume 2 by C.S. Picot and Joanna the Mad this is one I talked about a little bit more extensively in my January favorites and so I'll link that down below but this is the second volume in the Fence comic series I love them so far. I've already read this one, gave it 5 out of 5 stars. The third volume released on January 17th, and I still have not received mine in the mail, but I am very excited to get to that. It follows these two main characters who are going to be fencing uh, in like tournaments and that kind of stuff. Right now, we haven't gotten too far into it since it's only the second issue. Like, it's not a bind up or anything yet. But I love the characterization and I'm super interested in this story. It is supposed to be LGBTQ eventually and so I'm very excited to see what more is in store. The next book I purchased this month is Star Trek Boldly Go Volume 2. This is by Mike Johnson. This is a bind up of comics. I haven't actually read the first volume yet, however I'm very excited to now have both. These are comics that follow the Star Trek Beyond movie and I am very very excited to see about this. One of my reading resolutions this year was to read more Star Trek books and I did mean the like ones that came out in the 70s and 80s. However, I cannot pass up Star Trek, either the original series Star Trek or the characters from the new movie versions, so I'm very, very excited to get to this. The last book I purchased in the comics genre is Saga Volume 8. This is by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. I have not read this one yet because I do actually want to reread all of the volumes up to this one before I get into this one. It's been a while since I've read them and I really loved them when I read them the first time and so I want to read them again. This is a sci-fi fantasy series that follows a couple that are from different planets, but not only are they from different planets, those planets are at war with one another. They end up getting pregnant and having a baby who they sort of need to hide from these two planets because she has characteristics of both the mother and the father. It is amazing. It's really, really hard to put into words how great this is or even what the plot is necessarily about. This is a mature comic series. There is lots of things that are not safe for work in here, but the story building and the character building is amazing and I cannot wait to jump back into this one. Moving on from the graphic novel comic sort of section, we're going to jump into manga. I love manga and so that was no exception this month either. The most recent manga that I picked up is Dream and Sun Volume 5. This is by Ichigo Takano. She's the same author of the manga Orange, which I absolutely loved, I think two years ago. This series follows a girl who after the death of her mother and her father getting remarried, her father and his new wife have a baby and she feels a little bit left out. So she ends up sort of running away from home and moving in with a couple other students at her school and their landlord. Um, this deals with her trying to figure out what she wants in life. I did already read this volume here and I loved it, gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I will be talking more about it in my wrap up that will be coming out later this month. The next manga that I purchased this month was Otomi Mania by Tsukagasi Yurino. This is not one that I have read yet, however from what I gather this is about a girl who ends up going and wants to make an Otomi game. And I have played quite a bit of them. I actually like them a lot. And so I'm very excited to see what this one is going to be like. I love the art style in it so far. I've just sort of flipped through the pages to see because I am a very visual person when it comes to manga. I really, really want a style that I like. I can read some that have styles I don't like, but it's very rare that I get into them. If it's a style that I don't jive with as much, it just takes me out of the story. So I'm very excited to see about this one. The next manga volume that I have is The Seven Princes of the Thousand Year Labyrinth, Volume 2. This is by Hattori Aruno and Aikawa Yu. 
This is the second volume in the series. I do not have volume one. However, this was a book outlet purchase and for the price, I could not pass it up. The story sounded interesting and the art style looks right up my alley. Uh, I do still need to purchase volume one and I feel like this is gonna be a series I can probably binge read because I know that there's a few out already. I do not remember fully what it's about but I am very excited to pick up the first volume so I can read this one. The next two manga volumes I picked up were Captive Hearts of Oz Volume 1 and Volume 2. These are by Ryo Maruya. This is something, again, that I picked up from Book Outlet. This is the same manga author who does the Alice in the Land of Hearts series. I never really picked that up because the art style was not quite to my liking. However, this one, the art style has grown, so I've actually really liked the style of it, but it was really, really good. This is another one that I've already read these books. I will talk about them more in my wrap-up, but I actually really liked how she took a classic story and twisted it around a little bit for her manga, and so I'm actually a little bit interested to see what the Alice one is like, so I will talk about these more in my wrap-up. The next book I picked up was also from Book Outlet. This is actually a light novel called Occultic Nine. This was one that I wasn't actually intending on purchasing. However, it showed up as a recommendation on Book Outlet because I was putting the manga in my cart. And the story actually sounded very interesting to me. It was right up my alley. It was something about these kids in high school and they end up doing something with paranormal or I can't actually remember. However, I love the cover. I do love manga and I have not tried out a light novel. This is, uh, I think the light novel that the anime came from and I have not seen the anime either, but I was very excited to give this sh a shot. Uh, I do realize it is the first in a series, so hopefully I will find more of them uh, if I do like this one. The next book I picked up from Book Outlet is As You Wish, The Inconceivable Tales from the Making of the Princess Bride by Carrie Elwes. Uh, I love The Princess Bride. I think most people that have seen it do, but it is a great movie. I've seen this book around everywhere, and for the price I found it on Book Outlet, I could not pass it up. I'm very picky with my nonfiction. I have to really, really like what it's about, and so I think I'm gonna really enjoy this because of the subject matter, as well as the actor who wrote it. The last book I picked up from Book Outlet is The Last of August by Brittany Cavallaro. This is the second book in the Charlotte Holmes series. I do have the first book, again, have not read it, but again, for the price that was on here, I could not pass it up. These seem like books that I'm gonna want to binge read together anyway because I, they're a little bit short for me personally, but I also just love Sherlock Holmes stories, both like the TV shows, the old books, I have a couple different versions of those kind as well, and I'm just very, very excited to read these. I love the covers of these, and so I just could not pass it up. And as I mentioned before, my birthday was this month, so I did receive and also buy some books because it was my birthday. The first book that I have here is actually one that I did receive as a gift from a friend, and that is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. This one I received from my friend David. This one is, it, it's or I already know it's gonna be devastating for me. This is about a world where you get a phone call 24 hours before you die, and this book follows two boys who had gotten that phone call and decided to find a friend that was also going to die that day, and this documents, I guess, their last 24 hours. I already know this is gonna be devastating. I cannot wait to read this. David actually did tell me that he, this is one of the books he does not want to borrow from me because he will never be able to get over it. Um, but I am very excited. This is gonna to have to be one of those books that I definitely pick up when I know I'm gonna cry about it because there's no way I'm not gonna cry at this type of book. But I'm very excited to have this in my collection. And then the very last two books I have here are ones that I bought for myself on my birthday. The first one I have is Zenith, book one of the Andromeda Saga by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. I'm sure most people on booktube know about this book because it is written by people that have been on booktube. I am very excited for this. Sci-fi is one of my favorite genres and the fact that this has a cast of pretty much all female characters sounds amazing to me. I have not picked it up yet because I'm still trying to finish another book, but I am very excited to read this. It will most likely be on my TBR for February. And then 
And the very last book I have here is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This is one that I know, I did know quite a bit about, but that was a while ago. I know it has fairies and it has a lot of hype surrounding it. I am still very, very excited to read this because I've read some of Holly Black's other books and I love them. But I don't really want to get back into what this book is about because of all the hype around it. I sort of just want to go into a blind because I have forgotten a lot of the synopsis. And I just want to read this. This is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. So it does have the black cover and the white bear book and a bonus story. I am very excited for this. Again, probably will be on my TBR for February. But I just want to go into a blind. All I know is that there's fairies and I'm very excited to read this. And so that was my book haul for January. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you've read any of these books. I'd love to hear what you guys thought. I will have my wrap up posted by the end of this month, so I will see you then. Bye!